Random draw. <laughs> All right then. One of Harriet and Amy will automatically be in the final. One of them will face off against Marion Jude in the penultimate match of the tournament. Let's find out. Who is it going to be? It's Harriet coming back. Amy Beecham is having the time of her life. <laughs> Marriott, a rerun of the, of the world final, of course. Uh, great to play Harriet again, I'd imagine. Yes, of course, uh, it's quite a different format. So uh, let's just hope the results will be the same. <laughs> that sounds like a plan to me. Good luck. Play well. Harriet on her way in. And we will find out who will face Amy in the final. Harriet versus Marion is next. I'm now with a very happy Amy Beecham. You're in the final. Congratulations. What a performance today. You've yeah. just taken down... Not no, Mr. you haven't touched your cue. Not, not Mr. Mr. Ball. <laughs> you play the very first three matches of a whole tournament yeah. and you sit out thereafter. Yeah. And you played really well in those yeah, three matches as well. Yeah, did, yeah. Nobody wants to touch you, and obviously the draw said you don't want to, they don't want you out there oh, as well. Big fan of random draw. <laughs> big fan of the random draw. Okay, let, we've obviously got a very big match oh, now. Massive, we've got yeah. Marion and, and Harriet. They, it was the world final this year. Marion played incredibly well, winning that one. Yeah. Who do you want to play in the final? Who are we cheering on? Uh, I obviously don't have too much of an opinion, but to be honest, probably Marion, just because yeah. I've not played her. Yeah. Um, I like playing people I don't play. Yeah. She's best player in the world at the moment so yeah, yeah Marion for me I'd like she to holds play. that world title we've yeah, got the world, world the world champion the number one the number two players in our final three it's a pretty cool tournament isn't it yeah, we, we do love the last yeah. woman standing absolutely. here there's been some fun and games along the way we've seen we've seen some brilliant performances from from all three of you left in yeah. um, you've all had to go out there win three matches and, and you've all done that and done that in style um, Marion probably in that match just there maybe wasn't quite as sharp as she was yesterday but no. Barbara kind of handed her a couple of chances more than she probably deserved at times Yeah, I wonder if that's for Babs a little bit of a hangover from losing to Marion at the world because I think that was probably a big thing going back for Babs defending a world title Yeah. Um, so maybe that was in her head a little bit, I don't know um, But if that's, but would that be in, in Harriet's head here? Because obviously they played twice, they played in the Masters and in the World Championships this year um, Yeah, possibly Possib Possibly, and I think Marion obviously has positive memories of her last match against Harriet, so um, yeah, it could, could well be a factor. There's also as well, I think, and maybe I'm reading too much into this, but this is my job. I'm, yeah, I'm here to analyse. Yeah. Um, Harriet is obviously a very, very confident player. Yeah. You know, she, She's more than happy to say I'm the best player in the world and, and vo vocally say that, and I'm sure all of you believe that internally. Yeah. Um, but obviously what happened in Morocco, um, a lot of people talking about Marion being the best player in the world yeah. and maybe she wants to make a statement here and say no 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 I'm the number one player you know yes you've won the world championships but I'm still here yeah I think am look, I reading too much into it <laughs> no I think look, I think you you just want to win you want yeah. to beat other top players and say but I think there's a group of us and I like to include myself in it but I think there's a group of players that on any given day are the best player in the world yeah and you, you have to believe that you, yeah, there's no doubt yeah. about it because you're not you wouldn't be the players you are without that yeah absolutely but I don't think it's um I, it's probably not clean cut no. you know like no it's no 15 years ago when I started playing two times the best player in the world yeah. by my and it was known whereas right now I think it's it's not as black and white and that's exciting for us yeah, it's certainly exciting yeah. for me as, as a huge fan of uh, of the women's game is the fact that we we've got big matchups like this you know, when we're going to see this, we've seen you and and uh, Harriet battle it out for the number one ranking for two straight years now. But, you know, we've got other players coming into that. Obviously, we've seen yeah. Kirstie Lee return to form. We've seen Marion's now coming into Altma Paul. She's the world champion. Yeah. Obviously, Barbara's still around too. We're starting to see the, you know, the real big fight amongst quite a lot of players now. Yeah, and you've named-dropped four players there and not mentioned Emma. And which, yeah, is, which it shows it's, you it's where... Massive, yeah. yeah, and, and she, yeah. in terms of her current form and where she is, she's probably fallen down that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But we are underway. Nothing changes here. Two more matches to go. They'll both be played exactly the same way, which is very cutthroat, but that's what this tournament deserves. Race to four and 20 minutes. And Harriet gets the first opportunity. Yeah, and a decent one, just a yellow at the top that you've got to think about. Doesn't have an obvious pocket. A bit surprised she didn't play the one down the rail then. Um, obviously seen it a different way. Yeah, all her attention on the one nearest the top left-hand corner.
What about you? Do you have any preference for winning this match and what final oh, you want no. to see? Not at all. No. Not at all. Not allowed. No. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a complete neutral in the commentary box and just enjoy the drama that you all seem to deliver on the table time and time again. Looks like she's got an angle on the one into the middle. Get onto the other one short position if she wants to. That'll do. Could take it now or it's opened up to the top left hand corner as well. Yeah, if it goes comfortably in the corner, I think you'd always be playing middle first. Yeah. And Two balls away from a very start, fast start here for Harriet Haynes, continuing where she left off against Emma Cunningham for sure. Yeah, lovely start. Very nicely done. Calmly and with a minimum of first, Harriet Haynes in one nil up. And that did not take very long at all. I felt like she built through her three matches that she had to go out and play. Obviously, the performance against Emma, there was an all sorts going on out there. And Emma really didn't do much wrong. It was just kind of very enjoyable from both. And I felt like she built from match to match to match. And yeah, I'm not sure Emma enjoyed it. No, I'm sure Emma didn't enjoy it. No. <laughs> Judging no, from her reaction yeah, afterwards. Yeah, there were um, some tough things to, for her to take out there, no doubt. But, you know, I also think uh, a first of all, that can happen. Yeah. You, know, you see it in the pros all the time with any kind of races where they talk about not getting enough chances to win. And that obviously isn't always the same in the women's because the standard isn't, isn't what it is in the pros. But I think when the races are this short, it absolutely can happen. Yeah. Of course, it could happen here. I think Marion knows that she'll probably just need to raise it a little bit from the, the previous match. She needs to respond to the Harriet Haynes break clearance. She'd love one of her own. This may well be a foul break. Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure it is, to be honest with you. They will get double checked, but keep an eye out for the three point rule. Obviously, nothing potted, so no points there. Two balls past the centre line, and that's it. Yeah. So, a three point rule not fulfilled. The balls will be re racked. It means Harriet will get the next break, or she gets the choice whether she takes the next break or not, but of course she will. Yeah, and she'll have the break after that as well, because it's back to her break. So, for somebody that's breaking really well, and she is, golden break in the previous match as well. It's a good advantage. I think she had a foul break herself against Kirsty Lee Davies. Yeah, which is amazing, really, yeah. isn't it, when you think about Harriet's break. But you don't see it, it very often with Harriet's break, no. no. She's been chopping and changing sides quite a bit with the cut break, not sort of stuck to one side. Okay. And it's an excellent break. If the two reds by the yellow on the right hand side, if the top one of those two goes, then this layout on reds is perfect. Yeah. yeah she's already eyeing up the eight ball, I can tell you. <laughs> so she's very confident here. In fact, she had a starter there, so she didn't need that red to pass it. So it's still a very comfortable chance from here. Yeah, and of course her break next again because of the foul breaks. And could be massive. Just massive. Did not see that one coming. I was ex fully expecting Harriet to keep her foot on the gas here and, and roll these through. That's a big misjudgment. Really surprised at 
at that, and not obviously going in off massive surprise, it's a big misjudgment. I wonder if she was thinking about trying to go into the yellow and eight ball there and got the line completely wrong because there'll be no need to play that with any pace if you just were playing on the one to top right. You'd just be playing back near the cushion. Yeah, but there was also no need to move to move the yellow by the eight ball, so whichever way it was a strange a, a strange shot, yeah. And a big let off for Marion if you can roll these in which fully expect her to. I think from speaking to Marion in this weekend, um, over this weekend, she is coming to the November tour event, which I'm sure she'll do well enough to qualify to be a pro next year, which would be a massive addition to the tour. Yeah. I hope one way or another, even if she wasn't able to uh, yeah, make it, that absolutely. Ultimate Paul would find a way to get her yeah. into those ranks because she's she certainly deserves to be there. But yeah, yeah. no, great news that obviously she's committing more time to coming over from the ball. Obviously, it's a tough thing to do and a long yeah. way to travel. Absolutely. And that's not the best of shots she's ever played. Needed to pull that back a good few more inches. So I was going to have to find a shot here just to get onto this eight ball. Needs to keep going. It's quite a bit short. Does this cut? I don't. Oh God. It's very thin. I'd be playing the double, I think. But she's looking at the. I do. I love talking to her. I love talking to her. And her, her mannerisms around the table, They're I think, brilliant. are brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> class. She has got a little bit of. Uh, it was. Meg called this. Had a little bit of Phil Harrison about her being perfect and shaking her head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this is a big shot, I think. One or two nil, considering the chances they both had in this frame. What shot. a shot from Marion Jude! Huge pressure, and comes up with a massive double, and ties the scores up. Fully punishes the mistake from Harriet Haynes. That probably hurts Harriet a bit more, thinking she might have a chance to come back after the mistake as well. Um, so then, just seeing Marion now with a double. Yeah, giving a little bit of hope that she maybe yeah. would have got back to the table. Absolutely. Yeah, all square it is. Yeah. And very little reaction from Marion as well, just very calmly. Yeah. Back to your chair, yeah, it was good. I, I made the clearance, it's all good, standard. yeah. <laughs> It's always, I always think that's one of the toughest things to do when you know you should be perfect on the eight ball. You know, you know, two, a poor positional shot before meant it was a very big positional shot that followed, but she knows that she should have been right behind the eight ball there and it just puts his own pressure on, but took her time, called her extension and, and found a way. Yeah. Well, Harriet's made a ball and may have a, certainly got a red on, may have a yellow on as well, bottom of the table. Not an easy first shot, but you would think if the first shot goes in, it becomes a good chance. You definitely want yellows if you could get a first shot, but I'm not sure she's got one. The fact that she's not looking at this yellow along the bottom cushion probably tells us that she doesn't have the, yeah. the yellows. Makes it a bit easier if the red on the cushion goes red in off the in top the yellow, but can't see whether it's close enough to the bag. Yeah, she just needs to work it out. And there are the, the Fleming brothers there in town, ahead of the Pairs Cup tomorrow night, looking to get themselves into finals night in a few weeks' time. That is live here on Ultimate Pool TV, and of course, 66 different countries around the world wow. on live TV. Tomorrow night, 6.30 UK time. And of course, we've got the mixed pair starting in a, just over a month's time as well. Yeah. You involved? Yes, me and Clint. You and Clint. Me and Clint You've yeah. got a pretty good record together, to be fair. Yeah, not bad. Dangerous not bad. partnership there. I think it'll be a, it'll be a good fun tournament and uh, there'll be a lot of good pairs in it, I think. I mean, some of the names already uh, that I know of that are in it are just all phenomenal talent, which is... We could something different. Hopefully, it's not a one. -off. Hopefully, it's a. Hopefully, start you're here to a, stay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Event, potentially. And we've seen another mistake from Harriet. Yeah. In off again. And this is a good chance now on Yellows.
yellows are set to the left centre, so this is a really nice chance to get in front. She's on the plant now, so that's okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Ideally, I think she'd have wanted to play the plant last. Um, but she's fine just to drop this in and then screw back up for the eight. I know it looks a simple eight ball and it, and it isn't too bad, but she would like to get relatively close to this. Yeah, I think it's. I think she will be pretty close to it. Oh, she's got this just perfect just to pull it straight back. Yeah. Just one of those, just give it tiniest bit of attention and don't take it for granted. But Yeah, I think you drop in this dead weight, give it every chance, and these down the rails, these bags are um, quite accepting if you hit, hit them decent. Yeah. In it goes. Doubt, it? Two one in front and well we said we talked we talked about the fact that the, the at one nil down and, and obviously Harriet's made the break clearance to go one nil up. Obviously the foul break, balls have to be re racked and then Harriet gets two more straight breaks, essentially. She's lost both of them. Yeah. And we're back to Marion's break. So yeah. it's Lead amazing. break this time, do you reckon? But possibly. <laughs> I mean, she has, she does have one of the two golden breaks this weekend. Yeah. It would be, from her perspective, a lovely time for it. Yeah. But she'll just take a ball and a chance, I'm sure. Absolutely. Back her ability to mop them up. I mentioned this on the, the previous match, and I'm sure you're fully aware now, but obviously the bounty that all five of you had on your head, yeah. it's now essentially, doesn't matter which way around it, you're all putting it on each other's heads, essentially once it's on, only bounties left on, yeah. you're, all the money that's on all of your heads will go to the winner, which is a lovely little bonus for you. The winner will get yeah. a nice, uh, nice payday here. Absolutely. Did that, was that similar in the men's, or was it a case that the bounties were won previous to the... Tom won it all. Tom won, out. <laughs> Tom won it all. Shark should have known. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was the okay. same thing, but bounties kept getting beaten by the bounties. We had a yeah. bit more chopping and changing where there was bounties put on other people's heads, but it was, nobody won the cash from beating a bounty, and, and then it, it ended up with only... Well, we had... Um, Obviously, Craig in the final against Tom, but he would have yeah. taken it off, you know, off Tom's head. So yeah. Tom was carrying it all. Yeah, we haven't seen the wheel spun at all this weekend, have we? No, one thing not, not once. Yeah, not quite happened. Nobody wanted to take you on. Well, I say no. I'm not we did. We, we about did. That. I'm not complaining. We, we did uh, obviously see see Amy Hellis Dixon call out yeah. Mary on Jude early. That was that was obviously a great moment. Yeah. Is that your highlight? What's your highlight of the weekend? So yeah, that, no, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. I think that 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 call out was. I love the reasoning for it. I love yeah. the moment of it. I love the fact you know I'm her first taste of ultimate pool, and she said, "Look, I'm here. You know, I'm not going to be here. You know, maybe ever again. I'm going to let's. I want to take on the world champion." And I yeah. just love the way she put it, and she put on a really good match against she her did, as well. Yeah. But um, the point I want to make on the back of that is that I think the clearance that Marion made to go two and up was my favourite clearance of the whole weekend as well. thought it was fabulous, the way she put that together under pressure. And she's made plenty since. Oh, uh, yes, she is. She is phenomenal. It's just all about the eight ball here, really. If you can get close to it, you back yourself to... Over hit that one a little bit. You'd want to be the other side, wouldn't you? To yeah, not guaranteed to get nicely on this eight ball now. No. That's going to be a big shot. Shot. Yeah, another couple of turns would have been lovely, but good effort to get this close. I wasn't sure if she was just going to take her medicine and just drop that in, but wanted to get right behind it. 
Still a tough eight ball from here. Oh, in it goes. Another brilliant eight ball. Two of those in the match, the double and then that one there. Hammer blows for Harriet Haynes. Three on the bounce for Marion. And it's easy. Just look at just calm walk to your chair, yeah. It's what I do. Yeah. Next frame, please. Yeah. Harriet Haynes is under massive pressure, and you can tell it written all over her face. Yeah. Has the next break. And certainly has the the game and the speed of game to turn it around. Yeah, and I think this is after the world final. I know it was kind of one all between <laughs> Harriet and Marion at the Worlds, but obviously the biggest one and the last one, yeah. Marion won. And, and Harriet is used to winning. And she, it won't happen very often where someone has beaten her twice in a row. Yeah. Um, and, and also and the fact remember that, that. Yeah, and, and also just before the, the world final, when she won the world doubles, she said, I'm going to win because I'm the best player in the world. You know, publicly said that. Yeah. And oh, this eight ball's tracking, not going to quite get there. And it was a phenomenal performance for Marion. I know that she missed one eight ball in the middle of the match that kind of made it the scoreline a bit, a little bit closer because Harriet then yeah. was able to get a few on the board on the back of it. But the performance from Marion in that final was, was kind of quite breathtaking, really. It was such yeah, a high level. Uh, yeah, it was a great final and a great atmosphere. Yeah. So the crowd was, um, was great. Um, and I think. There's absolutely, people do take offence to, to people that will come out and, and have that confidence to say things like Harriet does. But the reason I think, for me, I think I try not to make statements like that, even when I'm feeling good, or it's the same as when you kind of fist pump before you put a black. It gives people more incentive to beat you. Yeah. It gives people more incentive to cheer against you. And I think you put more pressure on yourself. And that's kind of the opposite to what you want, I think. Yeah, and you know, I'm not. I'm not going to criticise Harriet no, in any way for saying not. it. If I, you know, I'm sure you all truly believe that, and, and quite rightly so. But when you do publicly say it, you're yeah. absolutely you are putting that little bit more extra pressure onto yourself, and yeah. you will get people like me mentioning it yeah, <laughs> plenty exactly. of times afterwards. Yeah. And you find plenty of things to go on about anyway well, course, without yeah. extra ammunition, oh. so. Well, you you know you asked me not to, so we've not <laughs> talked about six red shootouts in this match. Okay, I asked for that, I suppose. <laughs> and, uh, we did mention it about ten times oh, yeah, in the we previous did. match. About the amount of times that Jamo's mentioned the mini series this weekend. <laughs> Another mistake from Harriet. Didn't quite land on the ball she wanted to, and that may well be her final shot in this year's last woman standing, as Marion Jude has a chance to mop these up for a 4-1 victory. Not the easiest of chances, but just definitely need to plan your route out carefully. I think you, you expect to get them. I think from that look on Harriet's face in the background, she expects my to get these. Yeah, and how I know it was early in the match. You obviously put together a really good break clearance in the opening frame, and what a chance that was for a break clearance or a reverse clearance in, in the next. Yeah, and it's massive. and from that moment on, Ball. well, from that moment until that one, it's been all Marion, but that could turn things back around. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised she played it like that. I thought you could bring it back a little bit and cut the one in in the middle. There looks to be enough room, um, but maybe there wasn't. Not a nice leave for Harriet, though, especially in this situation. Nice to know that Marion's human, though. Yeah. Great shot. For and Harriet. that is punishing it. What a pot that is. That's huge. Last time she was in her chair, she sat there and probably thought that she was done and dusted in this tournament. Yeah. She's not. She's been given a lifeline and she has run with it. That pot down the cushion was exceptional. And still four minutes, 15 left. Still time here for Harriet. And Marion may well have invited a little bit of pressure her way. 
Yeah, it doesn't ever seem to bother the pressure, but it's definitely a test now. Yeah, I refuse to believe she's not feeling it. Yeah, absolutely. She does have the next break, though. And all she needs to do is repeat what she did previously, but make a ball. She can control the match, whether keep it tight or whether there's a chance to clear up. There's only four minutes and a bit left in the match. Eight ball, eight ball, oh. eight ball, oh. golden break to wow. win it. Marion Jude for the second time this weekend has won a match with a golden break. It was slowly tracking there. That would have been torture for Harriet. Both players are studying the eight ball and in it drops. And we now know our final.